According to the report by the Africa Center for Energy Policy, Ghana, on the average, loses $1.4 annually in the natural resources sector to illicit financial flows. The report indicated that from 2002 to 2018, cumulative gross illicit flows from trade misinvoicing in the country amounted to $20 billion U.S. dollars. Illicit financial flows refers to money that is illegally earned, transferred, or utilized. If it breaks the laws in its origin, movement, or use, it merits the label. Chairman of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, Dr. Steve Mantea, revealed some companies operating in Ghana's extractive industry have employed creative accounting to engage in illicit financing. We need to either to train or to recruit more cost engineers. Um, a lot of the times, and you know, this is how companies are able to uh, avoid taxes and, and the situation that leads to illicit financial flows. They use what we call creative accounting. A lot of the times, they will hide their costs through various schemes, including transfer pricing manipulations in a way that actually reduces their taxable profits and therefore less revenue to their host country. And, and so if we are able to follow through their cost computations very closely and then disallow those illegit illegitimate costs that they may put forward, there's a way in which their profits will begin to grow and we'll be able to tax them more. Dr. Steve Mantia revealed illicit financial flows in the extractive sector in Ghana, from illegal mining alone, cost the nation 1.7 billion US dollars. There are ways in which some of the international oil companies are also not being truthful about their tax liabilities. And aside the instance where the GRA has undertaken some, some tax credits um, in respect of the operations of Talo Oil, you know, Cosmos, and Adapo, uh, and all of them really have led to the raising of additional taxes. Uh, for these companies to pay. It is estimated that from 1960 to 2018, illicit financial flows through trade misinvoicing in Ghana amounted to 45 billion US dollars.